welcome to my channel. On this video I'll be showing you how to make these really cute mini envelopes in two sizes and a little, well my little letters here that, that fit inside this. And there's two sizes we're going to do but of course as long as you make everything square you can do them any size you want. I just want them for my journals for little um, journals and and just other things. I wanted them really miniature to go with, along with the other videos I've been doing. They're all tiny little things, origami stuff. So uh, let's get started. You're going to need for this bigger envelope, this one here, the size is two inches by two inches. This is two by two. We're going to sit there and we're going to just bring up the corner to corner edge. Now I don't want you to crease the bottom. You are just going to mark it right here, pinch it right on the center. And you're going to flip to the other side. All right, corner to corner. And pinch. Now you'll find where the two meet. Um, just enough. Sometimes I don't see it, so I come when we do it again. I want to make sure I can see it. There we go. Right here. So we're going to mark it because you won't see it anyways. And you're going to bring up this edge that point right there and this edge is going to go to that point right here now I always adjust if I find that it's off a little bit then I kind of look to see if it feels like straight and uh, I'll adjust it right here but you can adjust it a long way well it's pretty good then you're going to take the bottom and fold this up it's straight on the bottom corners. Now you can either leave this like this, the little point here, or bend it back just a little, crease it, and then you put it back the other way and turn it flat so you have that edge and that looks much better, according to whatever you want to do. Okay, and so at this point I'm going to sit there and I'm going to glue um, I don't have a small glue thing, but I'm going to just take a little bit of glue. Just a little on the two edges right here and right here. Okay, I'm going to flip that down and turn it up. And what I do, I was doing was, because I didn't want it to stick, I was putting my bone folder here and making sure it sticks down but I have my bone folder so it won't stick together and I have still have an opening here so guess it's pretty simple right. okay and um, it's still not stuck right there so I may come back and put just a little bit of glue here You don't really need that much glue. You know, I'm just trying to... A lot of people have that, that little tiny glue bottle. I don't have it right now. But one day I will get it. Let this stick for a bit. sit there and do a punch to the top. I kind of like go in somewhere in the top. And let's see. There, make a hole here. And I have all these assorted colored rings. I have um, little hooks. And I kind of, oh, I had one over here, didn't I? I put one aside here. Because I got one blue, one pink for the small and the big one. Here we go. So we're going to put this right in here so this can hang on any kind of tag or you don't even have to put this hole in you can just make the whole thing as an envelope which I'm probably going to do some of those later too. Alright so at this point then I'll come in and I will sponge the edges on this on, on my card. That's what I did. And 
Now I'm using, it's called Early Espresso, but there is different kinds, different companies. Uh, Tim Holtz had some nice stuff, which I want to get some distressed inks. Uh, this one's stamping up, but um, you know, any dark color kind of makes it look nice and vintage. All right, that's this, the bigger envelope's done. That was pretty fast. Now this is pretty easy too, for you to do the inside inside of this particular size, which is two by two. Um, I'm going to leave it right here. You can see the measurements I did, but um, the length of this piece of paper is two by two, and it's one and one eighth. So I have one right here that I already did, and so with this, what I, I like doing is you go kind of fold it, not past half mark. You're going to fold it past halfway, and this fold folds over. So you're not putting it into thirds. Two pieces a bit bigger and the last one um, halfway. And so to make the little point, what I did was I actually folded it in half. I just pressed a little bit in the center. And then I took a pair of scissors and came from this point to the edge, flipped it and did the same thing. And then I come back with a sponge and I sponged it all it's just easy doing all of it together now after I'm done this you're gonna decorate and decorate both the the letter and the envelope the way you want it I kind of did both bends here because I like the look of that it's right there are. So when this folds up, it fits perfectly in this envelope really nicely. can do at this point now you come in and decorate it whatever you want now if you don't want the just do the envelope if you don't want the letter but I thought they went cool together and some of them I'll show you an example what I did um, well here I hung a little charm here hurt on the side of that you can do that or you could put a little heart on side the letter part right like this one um, anyway you want to decorate the, the little envelope you could even put a note if you're sending it to somebody you can dress a little nice note for it. These are great to use all the time, like for Valentine's Day, for journals, for cards. Um, they're just really cute. And again, I plan on doing some projects with this, so that's why I'm showing you step by step different uh, things along the way that you'll see that I'll be using later for journals and different ideas. So um, if you missed any of the stuff that I've done, as you see, then go back and watch how I made things and then we'll come together and we'll do other projects with the things that I'm showing you how to do. All right, for this one, um, let's see. I have I really like using these. I've bought these um, these nail flowers. They're dried flowers. Matter of fact, it gets me to. I'm going to start drawing my flowers out. So um, I really like this idea. I'm going to come put, put a little glue here, and you can decorate the front whatever way you want. <clears throat> these are really. <clears throat> These are really quite cute. <clears throat> a bit of blue here. Um, let's see what I got in here. So this one's a little orange. Put that down there. And I'll come back and put the flower. But I really do. They're nails for decorating nails, these flowers. And uh, I think they're so cute to work with for crafts. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm doing all kinds of stuff with this, these nail things. And it leads me to, like I said, I want to start drying out my own flowers because for this purpose. And I even like the little containers these come in, so when I use them up, I'm going to dry flowers and put a little my own in these little containers here. All right, so this is a two by two. Um, I'm going to repeat this a little faster. So uh, for the smaller one, which is this size, this is just, I took it down a half an inch. Uh, same way you're going to do it. Um, you're going to go corner to corner. Uh, leave a little mark on the bottom and I 
I'm going to come back with a pencil, mark it, bring it to corner to corner of the center. Feel it, you might want to an angle just adjust. That's what I do. I kind of look at it after to make sure it's not off. And if it is, just readjust. All right, then we we'll take the bottom, bring that up. Like I said, this one I, th I think it's cute that I'm not gonna do anything with um, this. I'm just gonna glue this part down. I don't mind how it looks. Now there's another thing you can do, and I'll do it on this one. Alright. Just sorry about the dog. You leave this in, I'll start walking because uh, at least you never fail. At least he has to say hello when I'm trying to do videos. Anyways, okay. So I'll press that down, make sure it's not sealed. Alright, we're going to put a hole in here. show you something else right here if you want and you don't like this pointed part just you could either use a corner rounder which I don't have right now and for everybody that doesn't have one you can do this just take a pair of scissors it's simple it's easy to do if you want to round the, the top of your envelope all right for the next this size is smaller so my paper here that I did is um, 7 8 by 2 inches long I might have missed the smaller letter because the camera went off, but it's done the same as the large letter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.